Hello guys, how are you? It's Megan Graham and I am popping on unexpectedly. Don't mind my little crop top and my sport bra that I'm wearing. Um, anyway, just popping on unexpectedly. We have been traveling and moving around a little bit and kind of busy. So I have not been on my YouTube, but I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody before Thanksgiving. I feel like this is the shortest crop top sweatshirt I have ever bought. Um, but I wear a lot of sweatshirts and, um, what do we call them? Like lounge, uh, they're kind of like sweatpants, uh, joggers in my trailer. Anyway, um, just going to do a quick dog grooming. And then I think Jeff and I are going to go get some Mexican food. Um, so I just wanted to come on and say hi to you guys. Hello, Janine. It's so nice to see you. I'm so sorry that it is kind of unexpected and spontaneous when I, um, I'm on. I've been, I know you guys know, but I've been on quite the healing journey and just concentrating on my health. And I had, not that anything was worse with my health, but sometimes I have a few rocky days in between where I just need a lot of rest and I'm not feeling as well. Um, but I am healing, so don't worry about me. Everything is going really well and taking some time off in the trailer was like the best thing I ever could have done. Brittany, it's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for popping on. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I don't even know how you know that there's a video on when I do my live stream. Um, you guys are so smart about the internet and you just pop right in. How are your weeks going and what are you guys going to be doing for Thanksgiving? I'm so curious what your plans are. Um, we are heading over into the San Diego area and one of my friends, so for those of you that don't know, I own, um, my name is Megan and I own a salon on Newberry Street in Boston, but I'm traveling full time with my Yorkies. Um, so we are going to be traveling over to San Diego. Um, one of our friends has a home in that area and we're having Thanksgiving with her and her family. Um, and I'm so excited to, to see friends. So that is pretty awesome. Hello guys. Who is joining? It's so nice to see you guys. Sheila says, Hey, great to see you. I'm a New Yorkie mom. That is awesome. Sheila, when did you get your Yorkie? Is it a boy or a girl, male or female? Um, is it your first Yorkie? And what is your Yorkie's name? Karen, hello. It's so nice to see you. Hi guys. So nice to see you guys. You're so smart finding my live stream. I know it was so last minute. Um, Brittany says, great to see our step kiddos. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Super excited. I hope you're having a great week. I am having a great week. Thank you so much. Martha, how are you? It's nice to see you. It says, hi, Megan. Love all your content on YouTube. I have learned so much from my two Yorkies. That is so nice. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. Um, are my Yorkies friendly towards outsiders? Um, it just depends. Not really towards dogs that they don't know. No. Um, towards people, they can be friendly. Um, they don't like it when people are like really loud and they run up to them. But yes, they do like people. They love it when people come to visit. So when we were in Las Vegas, I actually hired a dog trainer and um, to come and sit with our dogs when we went out. So I wanted to go. My one goal in Vegas was to ride a mechanical bull. Um, I was not feeling good that day at all, but I still went because we had hired this awesome dog sitter um, and dog trainer. And I'm still going to post the pictures of her working with the dogs. I just, I've been having some up and down weeks with my health, although things are getting better for sure. It's just part of the process. So um, I'm sorry I haven't actually made any you know, produced videos. I've been really, really focusing on my health. And I know that once I get it all the way back, it's just going to be so much easier to do everything. But I still just like to pop on here and say hi to you guys. And it means a lot that um, my videos were helpful. Thank you so much, Darlene. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving as well. I feel like I have so much to be thankful for this year. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy. I'm loving this extra time I'm getting with my babies, I'm loving this time. My health is making big improvements and I get to spend time with my super nice. Um, I know you guys have seen my husband here and there, but my husband is, he's just the best. And so I'm so excited to be spending so much time. There is so much to be grateful for this year and it is awesome. Um, Deborah says, hi, everyone. Hi, Deborah. It's so nice to have you on today. Welcome, Roxanne. Hello, Roxanne. Thank you for joining. Guys, tell me what's good with you this week and what you're doing for Thanksgiving. Um, are you bringing your babies with you? Are you going to be at home? I love to hear your plans. Fallon, hello, and thank you for joining. I love your little avatar of your baby and all those hearts. I love hearts. Love you, Megan, and your babies. Thank you so much. That is so 
nice. I really appreciate it. Oh, I think my, sounds like my husband is back. Um, Sheila says, yes, first time Yorkie mom. His name is Riley. He's five months old. He's my heart. Um, that's amazing. Martha says, focusing on your health is the right thing to do. Thank you, Martha. It has been so, so helpful. Um, I can't even tell you the leaps and bounds that I've been making with my health. Just as a detox, there are days. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, I had a big mold exposure that made me, oh, Poppy wants to go see her dad. I'm just going to put her down, let her say hello to her. They just love their dad so much. Um, so anyway, I had a big mold exposure and it made me really sick few years ago and I've been trying to get better and now traveling in our travel trailer is finally doing it so I'm so happy so that's why we live in this very very simple easy to clean aluminum travel trailer um, and it's also really healthy oh that orchid is beautiful healthy for um, me and the dogs my husband just got an orchid because we are going to drive it over to my explant surgeon the big difference that surgery made for my health it was awesome Darlene, I love the little autumn leaf. I've never seen that one, but now I'm going to find that um, as well. So I can post that when I write my, I love little emojis. Um, oh, thank you so much. I missed you too. And I really appreciate you popping on. I'm sorry that it's been so spontaneous. I, and Jeff, don't worry. Just like walk around and make noise. It's totally fine. My husband is back. He just thought, there he is. He is a real hunk. I have to say, I really married a really cute guy. Um, he just got us some groceries from Whole Foods and he has just been taking the nicest, best care of me. So I am so, so lucky. Poppy, let's keep brushing you. Come on. I'm going to make you beautiful. Come on. You saw daddy. You saw daddy and it was nice. I know he, she loves him so much. Um, Sheila says, my babies are going to go with me to my daughter's amazing for Thanksgiving and meet his older brother who was born from a litter a year ago oh my gosh please if you take any pictures or videos feel free to send them to my instagram it's megan graham fitness um and i need to go i know i have some messages i haven't looked at so i need to go because i got some messages you guys have been sending me pictures of your dogs on there and i love it karen you're doing thanksgiving that is awesome we almost thought about doing a little teeny tiny Thanksgiving um, here if we didn't get invited somewhere, but we did get invited somewhere. So it's going to be so fun. Um, yes. Congratulations. That is so awesome. Sheila. Um, Sheila says I have already learned so much from you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. It says, thanks for sharing your world with me. Absolutely. I just like talking about things that I know about and um, you know, I always hope it's helpful. I know I have different subjects. Sometimes I talk about Yorkies. Sometimes I talk about my health journey, but in hopes that whatever I talk about is helpful to other people. Um, Karen says my Yorkie Alfie is getting company for Thanksgiving. My daughter and her mixed breed are coming and we will be leaving them here alone while we go down to my youngest daughter's for dinner. That sounds fabulous. Really, really fun. And I'm sure they're going to love to hang out. And Darlene says, thank you. I'm glad you're getting well. Thank me. <laughs> Brittany says, you and your husband are so sweet to one another. It's so sweet to me on my days. I've definitely had some days where um, I'm kind of like resting in bed and Jeff takes care of me and he makes me food. And then there's lots of days where I feel good and we can do fun stuff together. But he is... I can't even imagine any husband that would have taken better care of me when I wasn't feeling well and stuck with me. So I'm really lucky. Um, oh my gosh, Deborah, thank you. I forgot to say that. You were so good. Deborah just said, hey guys, press the like button. Yes, guys, please press the like button. Like Deborah said, Deborah, you should just run my YouTube. Um, and if you're not subscribed, I always would totally appreciate it if you guys wanted to subscribe to my channel. We talk about a lot of different things here. Um, just wanted to show you guys something. This is small, but, um, we had, so if you haven't seen my RV, it's definitely, it's cute and I really love it, but it had some artwork that was really, really tacky when we moved in. And because we didn't know how I was going to feel in it for sure, we didn't want to do too much to it because what if it didn't work? Um, you know, things like that, like our first one. So we didn't change the artwork, but since we've been loving it and I've been feeling so good, we decided to buy new artwork. And Jeff just put it up today and you can see it. It's really relaxing. It's on metal and we've got one over there and then we have, I'll just turn my computer real quick so you guys can see. So we've got one over there and then in the back of our trailer, we have like our baby stroller for the dogs and our cat tree. And right there, we've got the other one and it is so, it's just such an upgrade. I feel like we just had an HGTV makeover 
for our home. And I know it's just, you know, pictures, but boy, when your home, even if it is a little tiny aluminum home that moves, looks pretty, you just feel so much happier. So it was very nice. My friend did that and she has a whole, um, a page for her art and she doesn't usually put it on aluminum, but because it was for our trailer and we didn't have another way to cover up the holes from the other artwork, she did something special for us. So that was super, super nice. Poppy is way overdue to get her hair brushed, so she is really, really needing this. Um, Brittany says, I love it, so calming. It's just, it's so calming and so pretty. And the other one that we had, I'll show you guys, was literally the tackiest thing. So um, let's see, the one that was hanging before. So I did like a little side-by-side -side comparison. That's what was hanging before. And now that's what we have. So it just makes a huge difference to look so much more beautiful and it ties our home together. And we're actually going to put up a new backsplash as well in the kitchen um, because there is a backsplash that looks like a NASCAR racing flag, which obviously isn't really our taste. So we're kind of doing some little things to um, to fix up our little home and make it look extra I don't know, just extra cozy and things like that. Um, Brittany says, do you have to pay for space um, whenever you park? Yes, we do. Um, so you can sometimes, I think it, maybe if you have a smaller, if you have a smaller, come on, Poppy, we're going to flip you over, unit, I think you can, you know, park for free. Or we were in Malibu and you can park for free on the street, but um, it just, it, like, it's fine if people want to do that. It just doesn't seem super secure to me. Like someone could, you know, obviously drive into you because it's on the road and then they don't have water hookups and sewer and electricity. So we really like, we hook up wherever we go and we have things that are really comfortable. I will say this is not a pretty park that we're in. So both my husband and I, this one is so close and it has like chain link fences and, and it's so, so small. So this isn't the park that we're at right now. Isn't one that we would come back to we're used to being in, we tend to stay in places that are really beautiful. Um, but it's kind of a learning experience. And I think eventually I'm probably going to do like a blog post and a video and just different parks that we've been to and really talk about parks that I enjoyed that I would go back to. And, oh, I think my computer is blocking his food. Love, do you mind maybe moving the printer so he can get to his food? Cause look at him. He's trying to figure out, oh, he's just going to go right over my computer. I think he's like, uh, oh, there, yep. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> there goes the cat. Um, so yes, we do pay for space, but usually we really like the parks. This one's just, it's just not pretty at all. Um, Sheila says, can you tell us again where you got the harness that you, that you use for walking in? Apps. Ooh, Poppy, it's okay. Um, don't be nervous. Dan's just doing something. I'm going to get, I'm going to clean up your eyes and stuff. It's okay. It's okay. So um, I got their harnesses from the Buddy Belt website. And I actually just got a new set of, do you, when you come back down, not now, but when you come out, will you just hand me, you know, the ones that we just got so I can show them the harness color? I just got um, brand new ones for them because they were just so, stay here, Poppy, it's okay. They were looking so bad. So this is the new harness that I just got, guys. It is so cute. I got all matching orange. The color is called Fireball. And I got matching leashes as well. Um, I absolutely love the buddy belts. There's no pressure on their little tracheas. They're really comfortable. And they wear their harnesses a lot because um, we usually just have them on during the day since we tend to go out quite a bit. And we also just want to make sure that we can like grab them so that they don't get outside ever. They're really good about it. They want to be where we are, but um, that's what they do. Um, Sheila says, I heard you can stay for free at national parks and state parks. So Sheila, you can stay for free, but they don't have hookups. Um, and so, you know, especially where I'm kind of, um, well, not kind of, but my main goal is to get better from an illness. So we really want water because we really want things to be clean. So we want water and sewer and, um, electricity. So I think the thing about state parks is you sort of have to be willing to like boondock. So maybe use their bathrooms, which, for me, just doesn't really feel that secure. Like I, I really need everything to be, oh, there goes the cat. He just goes wherever he wants. But so I need everything to be really restful um, and safe and, you know, all of that. And so where they don't have that stuff, it just would be kind of hard for me because um, I do things like I use an infrared sauna um, 
probably like four times a week so that I can sweat out the toxins. And there's just a bunch of different things that I do where I need water. So it is awesome that you can stay for free. And I think if you were in a different state of health and you um, didn't you know, necessarily need water hookups or you had a van or something like that, it would totally be cool. Um, but for us, we're not, not that we're just trying to spend all of our money, but we're also not trying, we're not actively trying to save money. We're just kind of doing whatever is like safe and comfortable. Um, we stayed at a park that we really loved. And I actually, I even wound up making a friend there. Um, so that was really nice. So we've started to people that are also doing this that are, we've actually met quite a few people that are traveling full time right now. So it's really interesting to meet other people that are doing that and just kind of to socialize and have fun along the way. So I met a friend that I take little walks with, or I go and sit outside and visit with her. Um, and it is so, so nice. Um, Brittany says, how is it living in a trailer with four animals? It's actually great. Um, the, the animals really, really love for us to be together. Um, sorry, I see that my connection is unstable. It's such a tight park that it sort of blocks my Starlink a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's really good. The dogs love it. I mean, the dogs are tiny, so they don't really need a lot of space. Um, but it's very good. Poppy, who I am grooming right now, definitely does get a little bit um, stressed. So even though it's the same trailer, no matter where we go, she gets a little bit stressed when we move to new places. Um, I'm actually looking forward to Poly Pet, which is the pet detox company that you guys have heard um, me talk about, is sending me some samples of their new supplement, which is called Calm. I'm really looking forward to trying that supplement for Poppy because she is very, very sensitive and she really doesn't like this park. I think there's a lot of activity and noise. So she kind of goes and hides in the bedroom sometimes. Um, the cat is almost like looking at the screen, honey. Look at him behind me. <laughs> Simba's such a little character. I think he wants to be on camera, you guys. I'm not sure. But oh, there he goes. Now he's leaving. Okay. Oh, is... <laughs> he's such a ham. <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, my goodness. Um, Sheila says, my baby um, runs for me every time he sees his little harness. So I'm hoping if I get something different, maybe he won't be so leery of it. That's so interesting. I wonder why he does that. So funny. Um, yeah, Sheila, just like basic comfort is so important right now. So it's like you use your sauna and then you want to shower. So I don't think I in a could conserve water at this point with all of the just with the I mean, I do so many things for my health and they take so much water. So but um, we have found some just beautiful. Uh, and so if you, think about it, if you pay to park your RV, it's sort of like rent, right? Like you own your, we own our RV, it's paid for, but we can park it anywhere, um, which is super, super nice. Um, Brittany says, my Yorkie's eyes need to be clean, but she doesn't like it at all. Any advice? So one bit of advice that I would give you is to make sure that you clean her eyes every day. Um, I do think that if you clean their eyes and you wait too many days, then their sort of little eye, you know, eye boogers, whatever you like to call them, um, it gets very um, stuck. And then I think it gets really uncomfortable. So if you do it every day, I think you'll have an easier time with it. Um, if it's hardened at all, I would say definitely to use a wet paper towel and soften that up before you even try to remove it. So it's not painful. I don't go right in with my tiny comb when I'm removing their eye boogers. I first use the bigger comb and I do it all the time. So what I do is, um, I know I've told you about the pet detox so many times, you will find that if you do that, really just irritation and inflammation from their eyes. So they have about a quarter as much as they used to. Um, I feel like I was constantly cleaning their eyes before I did that and it's so much better now. Um, I do put the link, all those things. So if ever I'm talking about different Yorkie things or you're wondering, you know, what I like to use for my Yorkies, always go into the description of the videos. And I usually put, I put the links to my favorite food. Something that you want to do before you, to do it before they're in a health crisis, like I'm in, um, oh gosh, there goes my unstable connection again. Let's see. Um, so to, to wait to do um, a pet detox until your pet is in a health crisis is so much harder than if you just do it to really tune up their health, um, you know, stop them from doing unnecessary itching. Um, it can help to make food allergies better. So it's a really 
fabulous thing to do for any pet where you really feel like you need to. Um, that's so interesting to me that I wonder about my darn connection. Okay, it's a, li a little bit better. I wonder why he does that. That's so interesting, Sheila. Um, oh, that's so interesting, Brittany. I wonder why my Amazon store friend didn't um, didn't work. I'll have to look at that and see um, why it wasn't working for sure. I don't, Sheila. I don't know why he would want to go outside. Is it really stressful for him out his walk that could be stressing him out or is he I, I mean I just don't know how how old did you say that he is Sheila that's a really that's a really good question um has he tried have you tried like having him wear his harness around the house or anything like that just so he can get used to it as well is it just is it scaring him I'm not really sure exactly what the issue is that's so interesting though um, Darlene says, do you recommend deep teeth cleaning? And if so, what age? Um, I would say yes, I definitely do recommend it. I know it's always really scary um, for us as Yorkie owners because they have to put our dogs under. But um, I would say at whatever age your vet recommends it, honestly, I think your vet's always going to know better than I know for something like that. Um, but I think that they probably need a deep cleaning by the time they're about two years old. Um, that is a great question for your vet though, but I would say probably two, no later than three. I feel like Alfie had his first cleaning at three and it was almost already late to give him his first deep teeth cleaning. Um, it's so nice to see you too, Valerie. Thank you so much. Valerie says, hi, glad to see you and the pups and the kitty. Thank you. The kid was being so funny before. He loves Jeff, my husband, so, so much. Um, I don't use anything for my Yorkie's breath. Um, do your, does your Yorkie need a teeth cleaning maybe? I mean, I think like the big thing is if your Yorkie has bad breath, I would think about a teeth cleaning. I would think about a detox. I think about both of those things for sure. Sheila says I have over an acre of land. He's five months old. That's so funny. I wonder why. There's nothing but squirrels and deer and grass and trees. Oh my goodness. Of course, darling. I'm sorry that I can't give you an exact answer, but um, I think earlier is definitely better. Um, whenever your your vet recommends it would probably be a great time to do that. Oh, Poppy, you look so much better. She's so cute. She really needed a little grooming. And we are going to move our RV. We're traveling. I think we're driving about three hours tomorrow. So tomorrow on our travel days, we usually get going. Um, we want to get going really early tomorrow. So probably by nine. So I wanted to do as much as I possibly could tonight. So we are ready to go tomorrow. I'm going to just tilt this down so you guys can see her better. There we go. A better view of little Poppy. She's such a sweetheart. Darlene said it's, or she said it's maddening. It really is. I'm so curious about why that would be happening. It really doesn't make any sense at all. I'm sorry that I don't have a good answer for you. It's so, so hard for me to say. And it sounds like a really lovely situation. It's not like for, you know, for me where I was walking out into the city and, you know, it was kind of crazy and things. It sounds like a really calm, nice experience. Okay, Poppy, you are all set. Although I think I got your ear kind of over here there we go she is beautiful on to the next one because Jeff and I have a busy afternoon today we're gonna get a really early dinner with a couple of Jeff's friends that he wanted to see so I want to get everybody all prepared so that I can just do like a very my little Lola she's so cute just a very quick groom in the morning and then um, also we always like to take them on a long walk before we go on um, a long car ride. So that will be nice. Oh my gosh, guys, I got the cutest little miniature Christmas tree. Um, so obviously I don't have much space because our trailer is only about, um, oh my gosh, probably 300 square feet, but I really, really wanted a Christmas tree. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. Hold on, Lily, you sit here for one second. It's so small, I can just pick it right up. I'll put it, I'll put it back here. So 
that is our Christmas tree. And I'll see if I can flip on my lights so you can see. Probably won't light up too much, but it's got little tiny lights. It is so, so cute. And it says Merry Christmas. And I got a black pot. Um, it got, I got a little black pot, so it kind of matches the trailer, if you will. But it's so cute. We, um, we decorated it the other day. Simba was trying to hit the ornaments off of it. But I think it's very festive. And when I give my dogs the next bath, I really want to pose them around it. Maybe put like a blanket down or something and take a little Christmas photo. Um, so anyway, it makes it feel so, so festive. Um, Brittany says, does your husband feel comfortable driving the trailer? How long did it take him to feel comfortable doing it? Oh, yes. He knew how to drive the trailer right away, Brittany. He is um, very good at doing all things manly. Um, he has no problem it's huge. It's a 36 foot trailer. And he was actually in the collision repair business. So he's like, Oh, I've driven everything. It doesn't even make me nervous. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can't even, we always joke about it because he, this parking spot is so incredibly tight. And when we were parking in this spot, I was sitting in the passenger seat and I'm such a bad driver myself that I can't even give him advice on what to do. So I was just sitting there like, don't talk to him, don't distract him, don't look at him and make him feel pressured. And he backed it in perfectly. And after he did it, I was like, you know, next time if you need me to do it, just let me know because I would crash that trailer. I mean, I, there's no way I could move this thing. So thank goodness it's around. And um, I think one day I was joking and I said, pay more attention to me. And Jeff said, I drive your house around all the time, Megan. <laughs> it was really, he's just, he has a cute and sweet little sense of humor. Um, Darlene says, I know that they are prone to tooth decay. I will ask the vet. Thank you. Um, and Sheila says, do you feel like I'm doing the right thing by not forcing it on him? I think that's fine to do, Sheila. I mean, if you really feel like he doesn't want to go out, um, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I think you're just... You know, I, I don't really like to force dogs to do anything. I mean, like if Lola's really funny, I would definitely say my sweet little Lola, she got some health problems from our apartment that had mold in it. And so she doesn't walk as steadily as the other dogs do. She has, you know, she's just, she stops or she decides what she wants to do. And she doesn't really always walk really well. But, you know, I don't try to force her to walk. I just... If she's really not walking and I need to go somewhere, I just pick her up and I just, you know, I don't get mad at her or anything like that. It's like she, she just, for whatever reason, doesn't want to walk sometimes. And maybe she doesn't feel good. Maybe she's unsteady or maybe she just wants to be carried. But I mean, I, I don't ever force anything on my dogs. It's, I just don't think it's worth it. And they're such little wonderful creatures. So, no, I think you're absolutely doing the right thing by listening to your dog. I think that's great. Um, isn't that funny, Brittany? I drive your house around. I've been saying it for days. My mom thought it was the sweetest thing too. And he really does. Um, Brittany said, do you miss your old apartment at all besides the mold? So my, it was, my last apartment wasn't really the moldy one. So what happened was I lived in one apartment that was a rental and that was really moldy. Um, and we moved out of that and we moved into another place and it wasn't that our other place was so moldy. It really wasn't, um, it was that for me to get better, we had to have almost no mold. And it's pretty hard to find that in any place. So for probably anyone else, it would have been fine. But for me, it just wasn't fine. Um, I don't miss it at all. Not even a tiny, tiny bit. It was so expensive. There were so many people all the time and I didn't get to be with my husband. So I don't know. It's so funny. People, um, our friends and things never really get like, they're like, wait, you're traveling in an RV. Do you, you know, do you want to stay at my house during Christmas? Do you want to do this? And we're like, we love our little RV. Like it's been a very interesting experience. Um, in realizing that you don't need very much to be happy. Um, it was scary to leave and it was scary to go on this adventure, but the rewards have been amazing. And it's that like you guys haven't seen it, but it has this really cozy little bedroom up there where we watch movies at night and I have like beautiful orchids and frette sheets. And it's so it's like it's kind of like a hotel suite that we live in. And so someday we'll get a home again. Um, what we're really trying to do is 
get my health so it's totally back to normal and then give me some time to let my immune system reset and retrain and get used to not being overreactive to things. Um, so we don't really know when that will be, but we're also not feeling like we're suffering in this. Like we get to go to so many beautiful locations and just experience them with our pets in our home. So yeah, I don't miss my home at all. Not I, I'm trying to think there's not really one thing I miss about it. Sometimes it's funny. Like when we go out to dinner, I barely have any clothes now. So sometimes when I get ready, it's kind of a funny feeling because I had like lots of nice clothes, but I don't really miss any of it. It's just a different way of living. And I, I don't know. I just love it so, so much. Um, Miss Millie. Hello. She said, babies are so precious. How are they so chill? Tell us your ways, Megan. My little baby is bananas. Well, so for one thing, this little baby that's in my lap right now is Lola. She's been with me for a long time and she's 10 years old. So Lola at 10 years old is a heck of a lot different than Lola at 10 months old was. So it really depends, you know, on the age. And Lola, she can be crazy, but she's she's pretty calm most of the time, except when she sees dogs. Um, many, many people ask me how I'm able to groom my dogs on their back. And I think I didn't necessarily just start grooming them on their backs right away. I put them onto their backs and I would give them, you know, little belly rubs and say, you are such a good girl. That's your, yeah, that's my good little girl. Lola's funny too. So I know what Lola likes and I know what Lola doesn't like. Like Lola does not like to have, so watch what happens if I try to brush her front legs when she's on her back. Give me your front leg. Can I have your front leg? No, she doesn't let you brush her front legs. See how she's putting it out straight? She's like, no, thank you. She'll let me brush her back legs, but not her front. So I guess I just do what my dogs like. They, She doesn't mind if I brush her face like this, um, but she does mind if I brush her front legs like this. So I usually just, I set her, you know, so she's upright and she's standing. And then I finish the brushing process for her legs when she's standing, because it just doesn't make sense for me to fight her, you know? So I just... I just do kind of whatever she likes. I just listen to her. I guess she's kind of the boss, isn't she? <laughs> so she's bananas too. Um, Brittany says, what did you do with all of your gorgeous furniture? Did you end up selling it all or put it all in storage? Um, kind of a little bit of both. Um, I got rid of, I sold things to one of my friends that I didn't think I was going to be okay with afterwards because I had certain furniture that unfortunately had been in the moldy apartment with me. So someone that's not really sensitive to mold might have been okay with that furniture. So she, of course, she knew it had been in that apartment. Um, but for me, I didn't think I would probably ever be able to be exposed to it. And truthfully, I don't think that when we get a home, my furniture is going to be, I'm not sure, it might be okay. So some, some I think I might be able to wipe down a special spray that takes mycotoxins off of it. But part of me just wants to get some very inexpensive things fresh because I'm getting so much better and I don't really want to be exposed to any of my stuff that's not able to be cleaned perfectly and well because I guess it's like stuff just isn't worth it. If it makes me sick to be around my stuff because it's been in a moldy apartment, then I might not ever bring it. We'll see. What I've heard, a lot of people that travel to get better from moldiness, um, sometimes they have to wait for like four or five years to be around their things again. Once they've retrained their immune systems, they could be okay with a very small amount of mold. So fingers crossed because yeah, Brittany, I really did like my furniture. I really, really did. Um, she says, I think he just wants his way. And I think you could definitely be um, right about that. So Brittany, um, I threw away a lot of my clothes. So that would depends. I gave away things that were never in the basement of the original moldy building but I didn't want to make anybody else sick with certain items that couldn't be cleaned. So I had things that had been basically guys, if you're just joining us, I had lived in this building that had a really bad flood and this was years ago, five years ago. And so they didn't clean or remediate that building properly. So anything that was in the basement of that building, even though it didn't have visible mold on it, it had mold toxins, which are, they can make a lot of people very sick. So I threw things away because I just didn't want anybody to get sick from it. You know, like I didn't want to donate it and have someone bring something home that if they were sensitive to what I'm sensitive to, they would get sick too. So it was pretty sad. I had a lot of like beautiful Burberry clothes and 
expensive things, but I didn't want anyone to be sick. So I just disposed of them. So things that weren't there, I gave away a lot of stuff and, and so on and so forth. But I still have clothes just nowhere near what I used to have. And that's okay because you find you don't really need that much stuff. And if you really need something, you can buy it. Um, I'm in the market to get like a cute little bohemian dress. I want to get a pair of tights, a really fun bohemian dress and wear it with my cowboy boots and my cowboy hat. Um, cause we're going to go to Jeff's sister's house for Christmas. So I would like to get something really cute to wear. Simba is waiting for Jeff to come. Jeff is showering and Simba is just waiting right outside for Jeff. He is definitely Jeff's cat. I mean, I got him for Jeff and he is Jeff's cat. It's so, so funny. <laughs> Guys, if you're just joining, welcome. And if you have been on the, on the YouTube live stream, thank you so much for finding it. I don't know how you guys do that, but it's pretty amazing. Um, I really want to announce them in advance soon, but it has been a little bit touch and go with all the stuff that's been going on. So I haven't been able to do that. But um, And I have a bunch of videos that I just haven't had the energy to edit and put together, but I, I want to do that soon too, to get some new videos put together for you guys. But I think, I think once the, the healthier I get, the easier all that stuff is going to be. So anywho, Lola's looking so much better. Um, this park has been really crazy. So um, the rules for this park said that there's no pit bulls allowed and every other person has a pit bull. So it was kind of a funny thing. I was like, that's a funny rule to have when there's, I mean, maybe not every other, I would say every fourth person definitely has a pit bull. So we've been really careful. You know, we don't want to walk all of the babies at once because we want to be able to scoop them up if there's any kind of issue. But it's just funny that they would say that as their policy, but not do anything about it at all. Um, Brittany says, I have been waiting on your videos. I'm patient. Thank you. Yeah, I just... It's really been touch and go, and um, it's all good stuff that's happening, but it's been amazing how some days I feel good and other days I just don't feel good. So it, it's just, I think, a process of getting better. Um, but there have been, like, if I'm not on my Instagram or I'm not on my YouTube, a lot of times it's like my skin will really act up or and I just don't feel like I can be on camera. So anyway. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it because I know that it's all starting to resolve, but um, it's funny when you do a lot of social media stuff and then all of a sudden kind of don't feel comfortable being on camera um, or have the energy to do so. Um, Brittany says, what, um, what do your symptoms, what, what are the symptoms of days you don't feel good? Um, oh my gosh. I get really, really, really tired. Um, and my skin gets, so basically like, as you're getting rid of toxins, they go through your body again. And so on certain days I get bloating or um, my skin looks bad um, or I get a really bad stomach ache. There's just different things that happen. Um, not usually headaches. Um, but the other day, for instance, like I look good today, but the other day, um, my skin was just full of really big red bumps and it looks like acne, but it's not, it's just, I don't know if you can see it. Wait, it, it just wants to look white. Um, it just won't focus on it. It's like, I don't know how to make it focus, but it's my whole face is all red and bumpy. Can you see it if I get close? Kind of. Yeah. Anyway, it looks, it's sort of like a rosacea like thing on those days. Um, and we had to go out the other night just because we're only here for a few days and we wanted to see some people. So I just hid my face by wearing a cowboy hat, but sounds very vain, but I had perfect skin before I got sick and things like that just make you feel really self-conscious some days. So anyway, it's just one of those things. Um, hello, LA. It's so nice to see you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And I will tell Jeff that you said happy Thanksgiving. I really appreciate it. Um, 
how did I like Deb, uh, Jennifer Aniston's hairdresser, Debbie? That's such a great question. So I really liked him. He was very, very nice. And um, he had a great personality. And I think he did a really nice job with my hair. So this is the hair color that he did. The only thing that was really difficult is that I'm allergic to fragrance and I'm really sensitive to chemicals. So when I go to a new place, it's very, very hard to, um, it's hard to describe to people like that it's not a preference that I not have like things sprayed on to me and certain products, it's, it's essential. So I didn't describe it well. I, I kept trying to say it, but they were like, this will be fine though. So they were really nice, but they didn't really get it. So I wound up having a pretty big skin reaction for days after I left because my skin does that after. Um, so the learning experience and the takeaway was that I need to be not so awkward and I just need to be really firm about what I need for my health. Um, I also forgot my not scented conditioner, so I wasn't prepared. And so what I'm going to do next time is leave there and go home and like just leave with wet hair and put it in a bun and go home and just shampoo my own hair. But whatever they used for products was so fragranced that it took four um, hair washings before I could get rid of the fragrance. So it was so good and the color was so good. Just I wish I wasn't allergic to fragrance. It's it's a real pain. But he was so, so nice. Um, Brittany, there's really nothing that I can take for my skin. So it's it's literally a reaction to the toxins that were stored in my body coming out of my body at this point it can be for different things it can be because i'm exposed to fragrance but my body is doing such a good job now of taking things out of my fat cells and getting rid of them so i'm just reacting to the actual whatever is leaving my body um i do take quercetin i take zantac and i take benadryl on a daily basis and they do help to to keep it under control and the days that I really start to have a reaction, it's a histamine reaction. So I usually take it like two, um, two times a day instead of one time a day. Um, but it's so funny because that we were having dinner with a couple the other day. And, you know, I said something about like, I was like, yeah, I'm just hiding the inflammation on my skin because it was it's worse here usually. And so I was like, I'm just hiding it. And she was like, I can give you the name of a good, you know, facialist. And I was like, no, it's not an external thing. Like there's no facial that will help my inflammation. Like inflammation is in, you know, it's from the inside, if you will. Um, but anyway, the hair was really nice. I just wish I hadn't had such a reaction to the fragrance. Uh, Miss Millie said, what would your advice be about neutering? I'm torn about what's best for my 18 month old. You mean uh, spaying because you neuter boys and you spay, uh, spay girls. I would definitely, definitely spay your Yorkie for sure. I wouldn't even think about it. I just would. Um, LA says, do you have an asthma reaction to fragrance? So not really. Um, it, it does like tighten my throat a little bit if there's a lot of fragrance around. Um, I've never really had a full asthma reaction because I usually just don't let people use that much fragrance around me. But um, mostly it's what it does to my skin. Um, and I usually have digestive problems for a few days after being around fragrance too. So it's such a pain because when I'm there, I feel so embarrassed. Like I don't want to have these issues and want to be difficult with people. I think it's like a lot of women feel this, right? Like you just don't want to be trouble to anybody. You don't want to be difficult, but then, you know, if you don't say something, you wind up not feeling well yourself. So I really, at the age of 46, have to learn how to say things to protect myself a little bit better, but I know next time I'll do better. And I think they know how I am now. So like, I think that they're going to understand, like, this is an actual, because they were very, he was asking me about, like, if I wanted opportunities to do influencer stuff like that. And I was like, I really appreciate it. But right now, like, I'm just focusing on my health and I can't really take much on because um, it changes from day to day. And I'm not a flaky person, but I might not be able to do something that I want to do, you know, or I might overextend myself and, you know, my health is more important. So it's hard to explain to people. Um, Miss Millie says the vet is pushing for it, but I'm not sure. I would definitely, definitely do it. Both my girls are spayed and it is like not a, not even a question. Um, LA says, does your body overreact to the Benadryl and make you sleep for hours? No, LA, it's so funny. It, the Benadryl doesn't even really make me sleepy. Um, I don't know why, but I can take Benadryl in the morning and no, not even sleepy or anything like that. Um, and I did get, I know I told you guys, LA, I told you that I got that ozone. Sorry that the light is changing a little bit. 
um, I got that ozone IV in Aspen. I got an ozone IV, a glutathione IV, and then I think uh, magnesium and some other things, Myers cocktail. Wow. It really changed my health. I will say that part of the reason my skin was looking so bad is that it was pushing, visibly pushing so many bad things out of my body. Um, and it was just, I think Jeff forgot to move his food. Here you go, honey. There you go. Um, so, you know, it, it just had to push that stuff out, which of course I had a reaction to it because it was kind of hiding in my body, but, um, I am going to go back and get that. Oh, sit. Excuse us, Simba. <laughs> I am going to go back and get another one of those IVs in Aspen in December because it was so, so helpful to me. So I'm excited. Um, not excited to go through the aftermath of it, but it I know it did so much for me. And I'm expecting that I won't react to it the same way this time. So that is really nice. I'm going to trust Jeff to be alone in the trailer with the babies. He, Dad's going to take, I'm only going to be gone for two days, but it's very important. I've got to go to my doctor. Um, LA says mold has made me so sensitive to everything. And it's the same with me too, LA. And it's, um, it's funny. Um, I just sort of take it, I guess it's, I'm just so used to it now, but one, one of Jeff's friends, the one that we're visiting here, um, his girlfriend was like, Oh, do you want to do something when you're here? You know, we could go to a spa together. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but I can't go to spas because there's fragrance and I can't really just have people put things on or around my body that smell because it could cause a really dangerous reaction. And it's so hard to explain to people. And I always, I think I care too much about what people think, but it's hard to not be able to do all the things that people get to do normally, if you will. Um, so it's kind of a funny thing. Um, Miss Millie says, thanks, Megan. I really appreciate this channel for Yorkie Talk. Um, oh my gosh, it's my pleasure. And I, I wouldn't be personally afraid to, I'm just going to try to adjust because it's, it's that, I wonder where the sun, I can't even tell where it's streaming in from. Is it behind me or is it, oh, I think it's over here. Let me see if I can adjust this curtain a little bit. I'm hoping maybe it won't stream in so powerfully. Well, it's not as bad. It's still coming in through the corner a little bit, but I think you can see me a little bit better. Um, isn't he so funny, LA? The cat just does whatever the cat wants to do. Um, LA, did you see my beautiful new artwork that I was showing everybody? I'm not sure if you were on, but we ordered some special, special new artwork for the trailer and it is so pretty. Um, I'm loving, it, it just gave us a little upgrade. This trailer is very, very good for health and that's honestly all that I care about, but I did not like the artwork. It was really, really tacky. So my friend just made beautiful new artwork. I'll just tilt just in case you can get to see it. I think you came on after. Um, so she does these really nice muted sort of like landscapes. It's there just past the dinette. And then we have a another piece that she did on aluminum so it works in our trailer and it is so so nice you can tell everything is all about the dog so jeff put the stairs under the table so that the dogs could easily get onto the dinette and then they have the blanket that my mother made them on the dinette so it's nice and cozy um so really funny thing i wasn't sure if you know our dogs would like I feel like your ponytail looks a little bit tight, Ola. I see the whites of her eyes. Um, I wasn't sure if the dogs would really like being in the trailer, but it is so funny. They love to be in here. They love to be in the dinette. Dogs don't need much to be happy. They really, really do. Um, Brittany says, are you still able to drink while you are recovering? This is a really interesting question, Brittany. Um, and I know this sounds so strange. So I didn't drink for the longest time, barely. I would only drink when I was with Jeff, like maybe one drink. Um, if anybody's wondering, I only drink tequila. I drank 1942 tequila with an organic orange wedge in it on the rocks. And it's because tequila is the healthiest alcohol, even though alcohol is not really healthy. Um, and so I found, and this is really, really weird, I barely ever drank, but whenever I would have one drink, I noticed that I detoxed things more, which was 
so weird. It didn't really make any sense. So I asked one of my girlfriends that's a doctor and she said, well, technically, um, when you drink, your body knows it's not good for it. It's poison. Your body's trained to get rid of it. So it's going to grab anything else in your liver that's not supposed to be there and get rid of that too. Um, so I was kind of doing like a little, like I only one drink a day, a little streak, if you will. Um, but I think for December, we're not going to drink, um, especially because we're going to be staying with Jeff's sister and he's Mormon. So it would be really disrespectful to bring alcohol to, we're actually going to stay in our RV on her property. She has hooked up some things, which is crazy. Um, but anyway, so we won't be drinking for December. So I'm like a, a, you know, at least a month off from that, but it's been really odd in that I have no like, no rhyme or reason for why it really works, but it did actually seem to be helpful to me. And sometimes it's just nice to do something that other people do, like so you can go out and socialize. And not that you can't socialize without drinking. I'm not implying that. But um, there are so many things that I haven't been able to do that if there's like one thing that I can do, sometimes it just feels nice. Like no one's perfect, right? Um, LA says, great new artwork. Thanks for letting me see it. Absolutely, LA. Um, there was literally the ugliest artwork ever in our um, in our RV before. So we're so excited to have something so pretty now. It just really elevates it. I'm probably going to have to run in a few minutes. I think um, I'm going to get dressed and we're going to really quickly drop an orchid off to my doctor's office. Um, we're in the town where my amazing surgeon um, did an explant for me this spring and it has helped my health so so much so i just wanted to drop off a, you know a flower to him and just say thank you 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 know your care was amazing so anyway i really believe in gratefulness i think it makes um i don't know how to explain it i just love telling people that changed my life that because i think that people don't tell other people enough when they make a difference in their lives and you know, I've heard people say before, like this doctor was extremely expensive and somebody was thinking of doing a gift and they said, well, that's just stupid. You already paid so much money. You don't need to thank them. And I was like, I don't care how much money I paid for something. If it helped me, I am so grateful and I'm going to drop off flowers for this person. You know, it's very important. Um, Cinderella. Hello. How are you? Oh, I love your name. It makes me smile every single time I see it. Oh, it says, happy Thanksgiving from Cinderella and Zeus. Happy Thanksgiving to you, beautiful lady. And thank you so much for saying hi. Um, Janine says, I did not realize the amount of time that I spend with Isabella. Night and weekends are so long. She was 12 years old and never, oh, never spent one without her. Oh, Janine, I'm so sorry. That makes me so sad. I know how special she was to you and I know how much you're going through right now. Um, it, guys, if you don't know, Janine recently lost her very, very beloved Yorkie Isabella and she is really in the middle of the grieving process, which I can't say ever really ends. I think we really, we miss our Yorkies, our, our companions forever. I don't think it goes away, um, but she's really in the middle of it and it's so hard. Um, Janine, where, can you remind me of what state you live in? I am sorry to ask you again. My memory is not my best thing right now. Um, but if you don't mind telling me, I would love that. Um, oh, thank you so much, Brittany. That was so nice of you. I really appreciate that. Oklahoma. Okay, so you're in the Midwest. Um, I know, Janine, we're all like very sad for you. I'm so sorry. Um, and I don't, please don't think, I don't mean this as a way of replacing, like I hope you don't mind. Do you um, think that you'll get another puppy at some point? I know you're in the grieving process, so please don't think I'm trying to say you should replace your dog in any way. I was just wondering if that's anything that you think that you'll ever be doing, um, because I think you have um, such a beautiful heart. I know whenever you come on here, you are such a kind person and the way that you talk about Isabella is just so incredibly loving and it is really clear that your relationship is is and was so special and um i hope maybe you'll be able to open your heart to a baby in the future even though i know it, it, it will not be the same in any way i know alfie is so different than teddy so different and teddy was my lifetime like if i put teddy next to that little treat teddy would just be like the most beautiful little he would pose 
He was just such a good boy. He was my best friend. This girl doesn't pose. This girl doesn't like pictures to be taken. No, she doesn't. None of my dogs now pose. Like, out, I mean, Poppy's afraid of the camera. She just wants to get away. If you try, if you take out a camera, this she knows. I'm gonna take your picture. I'm gonna take your picture now, Lola. Can I take your picture? Okay, I want to take your picture. Okay, she doesn't want that. Um, she's so funny, but they're all just so so different, guys. Thank you for sending those sweet and kind, supportive thoughts to Janine when she's going through this. Um, Janine, can you? Uh, do you have Instagram, Janine? Um, if you have Instagram, can you send me a message um, on Instagram? Um, it's Megan Graham Fitness. Um, you can even, I think you can even send me an email by just going and just saying send an email if you don't know how to send a message. I never know if people know how to do that. But would you mind just, or, or telling me if you have an Instagram so I could send you something on there? Um, that would be awesome. Um, if you don't mind, um, this one looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to try to take every tangle out of her body right now because I did not do a great, great job the past few days. And since tomorrow is a travel day, we have a lot of things to do. I wish that Daddy Jeff knew how to groom them because there could be two of us and we could do it so, so quickly. I've never used Instagram, um, but you're on Facebook. Oh, um, I am on Facebook too. So you could send me a message on Facebook if you could do that. I'm under Megan Graham and I think it's a picture of me in a wedding dress. So I think if you put in Megan Graham, I might still pop up in Boston. Would you mind sending me a message on Facebook? That would be lovely if you could do that don't try to figure out instagram um i will show you just so you can see my facebook picture if you do not mind finding me there so my um that's my profile photo it's kind of whited out like everything is today on facebook Guys, I appreciate all of you guys. Oops, wait for my connection to come back. I really appreciate all of you guys showing up. Um, yes, please send me one as soon as possible. There's actually something that I wanted to tell you um, that I was just thinking about. Um, so this little girl, oh, she does not want me to brush her anymore. I think she's had enough for today. We are going to run and I'm going to just fix up my hair a little bit and put on a nice outfit and feed the baby so that we can go for a quick and early day. Um, but guys, it was so nice to talk to you. And um, thanks as always for just showing up and for being so kind to each other and being so kind to me. The babies say hello and I'm gonna to talk to you guys after Thanksgiving. Um, and then I think we're going to be moving to a park and staying there for a while. So I'll be back to having kind of like a more relaxed travel existence. We were only here for five days. So that's a lot of moving. But guys, it was wonderful to see you today. I'm going to go and beauty myself up as best I can and get ready to go out with my husband and drop my doctor off some flowers. I will talk to you guys next time and um, check out my links if there was anything that I mentioned that I didn't. Um, give to you guys. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Janine, I look forward to hearing from you. Miss Millie, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Susie. Thank you so much, you guys. I am grateful for each and every one of you and all of your kindness. Thank you. Bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, Debbie.